Happy holiday people always seem to forget exists, ladies and gentlemen. If you are from overseas and not familiar with Thanksgiving, don't worry, most Americans aren't either. And instead insist upon bowing to corporatism and flushing all their money away at brick and mortar stores which aren't going to last 10 more years anyway. Unfortunately, we collectively seem to have forgotten Thanksgiving in favor of Black Friday, which really is a shame because there's quite a bit of history associated with this holiday and reminds us that the European settlers and some of the native tribes in the New World definitely could, and for the most part, did get along. Minus the smallpox and Manifest Destiny. In any case, I can only assume if you're not working retail, squeeze it! You're probably having a gay old time eating with your estranged family members who you will inevitably remember you hate because you are a shallow individual who holds political differences above your own flesh and blood. God! <laughs> so I thought, in an effort to channel both the Native American spirits, no, not that one, that's a different video altogether, and the spirit of gluttony, that I would share one of my favorite tales from the Algonquins, Mishabo and the King of the Fishes. So our story starts off like any good story not sanctioned by PETA, with a fishing trip. Mishabo, the shape-shifting god of... Uh, pretty much everything in the kitchen sink, to be honest. Like, seriously, he's the god of the east wind, mist, lightning, shape-shifting, pipe smoke... Fuck. And it only gets more tangled when you realize Mishabo also goes by Lord Hare and is an alter ego to the demigod Manabozo, typically in his rabbit form. So essentially, if you need some silly imagery, imagine a bunny going on a fishing trip trying to throw hands with a giant fish, and now you have your narrative. So Mishabo hops onto a boat and high off of his own farts because he has a massive ego, decides to continually shout out into the open water, challenging the fish king... Well, it's a goofy reading face, so you're all to assume that I'm probably going to fuck up the pronunciation. Mashenama Gawai. Not to be confused with the Machinima, whose new logo looks like something you'd slap on the side of a shoe. The... Let's just call him the Fish King. Was obviously perturbed by all the commotion which sounded like one of those special needs kids finally made use of his water wings, and decided to humor Mishabo's challenge by ordering the trout to effectively commit seppuku and take the rabbit god's bait. However, upon pulling the trout above the water, Mishabo cried, Shame! Shame! Why did you take hold of my hook, you ugly little creature? Dude, F's in a chat for the trout. All he did was put a hook through his bottom lip because Macintosh over here told him to, and, and now he's getting called ugly by a rabbit holding a fishing pole? Feels bad, man.jpg. Mishabo tossed the trout back and then started autistically screeching for Mambo number 5 to come and face him once again. This time, the Fish King sent a giant sunfish to take the bait and sacrifice himself for the greater good of all of SeaWorld. The sunfish puts up a better fight, but is eventually reeled in by Mishabo all the same, who then starts to verbally berate him as well. You hideous fish! You have contaminated my hook by placing it in your big mouth! Let go of it, you filthy brute! Which, yeah, to be fair, sunfish are pretty ugly. Mishabo has pretty much McFucking had it by this point and shouts for Macaroni to come up and face him like a man. Or a fish. I would say a fish man, but last time that didn't turn out so good. Granting Mishabo's wish, the kingfish Marco Pierre White can't seem to find. Where's my kingfish? Where's my kingfish? Where's the fish? Where's the fish? How long for my bait? How long for my 17 kingfish? How long for Surfaced above water and immediately swallowed Mishabo and the whole damn boat whole. Mishabo fumbled around for a bit in the darkness before remembering that he had packed his war club with him and started thrashing around at the insides of the fish, attempting to get himself thrown up like a school lunch by that one kid who can't seem to remember that he's lactose intolerant. Oh no, wait, that's diarrhea. In any case, Makanko Sapo unintentionally dies from these injuries and his body washes up on the shore, leaving Mishabo trapped inside the bowels of the fish. Because, of course, he never stopped to consider a plan B. 
However, the Algonquins were not opposed to Deus Ex Machinas in their stories, and Mishaba was freed by the local seagulls who picked apart the carcass of Maraca and freed the god from his confinements. Realizing that he's been a dumbass and would have never escaped had it not been for those fuckers who insist on shitting on my car, Mishabo sanctifies the seagulls as sacred animals, earning his blessing. Mishabo then looks over the corpse of his adversary and returns the fish to life, allowing for him to return to the bottom of the lake for the rest of his days. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't scream at the water autistically while fishing. Well, besides the fact you won't be catching anything. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving, except you retail employees who I'm sure you won't. If that is the case, punch a self-entitled boomer in the throat for me and scream world star while doing it. This is a joke. We here at Messiah's Mythology do not condone violence towards the elderly. We do, however, find it extremely hilarious. Thank you all so much for watching, and if you could, leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're looking for a more productive use of your money this holiday season, other than contributing to another billionaire asshole who is just going to end up liquefying his assets as soon as JCPenney finally goes out of business, why not donate to my Patreon? Not only will you be helping me to create new projects just like this, but you'll also gain access to my bonus series, Academic Ayakashi Archive, as well as some other neat perks detailed in the Patreon page linked down below. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, my name is Messiah, and I hope you all have a God's blessed day.